Our first step in making our uh, twice baked potato casserole is we preset our oven at 425 degrees. We're just going to take a fork. These are extra large potatoes. We're using four of them. And we're just going to put a few holes here and there to let some of that steam out. Have them cook a little bit faster. This recipe is an herb variety. So we're going to use some fresh herbs. We want to put in our filling here. But we're going to uh, when I finish poking these up, I'm going to stick these in the oven. I'm just going to stick them around the rack and we're going to bake them for approximately one hour at 425. All right, our baked potatoes are done. It's been an hour. I'm going to set those there on the cutting board. And they are hot, so please be careful. Leave your oven on. We're going to, we're going to bake these, this again at 425. I'm going to have to take a knife here. I'm going to cut these open. That's just going to give us a little extra time to allow it to cool off just a little bit faster. And set those up to the side. And they are hot. Like I said earlier, we are making a herb version. You see a lot of versions online in which they use bacon and ham. We're not going to do that today. If you want to watch some of our other videos, we're making a lemon Cornish hen, and this will be perfect. This will pair perfectly with that. All right, we've got those set off to the side. We're now going to take some fresh parsley. Now we're not going to use all of this to save some of this parsley. Just go ahead and take a glass of water, stick this in the water. And it will last for about a month. You can stick it in your window seal. What you want is a fourth of a cup and one of the reasons that we're using fresh herbs is not only is they're a little bit mild in flavor and also as we dice them it's going to release a lot of their oils. So that's going to help infuse and flavor our potato dish here. About a fourth of a cup. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing, but we've got a package here of baby dill. And we're also going to do one fourth of a cup of baby dill. And I'm just going to take those off. I really don't want those, uh, it's kind of, I don't want the big stems there at all. And this is pretty much the same thing. If you don't use it all, you can stick it back in the refrigerator. Or again, you can put it in some water. It smells amazing. I just love the smell of fresh herbs. During the summer, this last summer, we, we uh, put some fresh herbs out in some containers outside. They, they got so big. And we got busy, so never, we, we never really got a chance to use them. Alright, and we're going to just... Dice this up. Stick that in our container. The last of our dicing is we're going to take one small onion and we're using a sweet onion and we're going to dice it. I'm going to dice it to some into really thin, small pieces, almost like a minced. I have a brother who doesn't like uh, onions very well, so maybe the smaller pieces will help. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Same thing. I've seen chefs where they take the onions and they. You've seen them take the whole thing and go like this and like this. I have never been able to do that. I'm not very coordinated, unfortunately. Luckily, I don't cut myself very often. I'm much more likely to fall or to trip 
when I had the feed, food truck, be amazed how many times I actually fell out of it. But never cut myself. Alright, we got those all chopped up. Alright, I'm going to set this up to the side. I'm going to let our potatoes cool for just a few more minutes before we start digging the uh, nice potatoes out of the center of it. Our potatoes are still kind of hot, so I've got a napkin here to help me out. I'm going to take the, the centers of these of this, or the meat, or the flesh, as they call it, of, this, of these baked potatoes. I'm going to put them in a bowl here. And it's still going to be hot. I want to take this. I don't want any of the skins. Now these skins don't throw away. I mean, you can if you want to, but you can also take them and make and save and make potato skins out of them. Just put a little cheese in them. Put a little seasoning, salt. Throw them in the oven. Top them with some green onions. It's a really quick, easy little snack. So, so or you can throw them away. Either one. Or you can make some croutons out of them. Do some uh, baked potato skin croutons. One of the favorite things about making videos and also about when we had the food truck was that we got to play with food a lot. I enjoyed the deep fryer, so let's just say we deep fried some really weird items. As you can tell, these are pretty much perfectly baked. They're not al dente, so we wanted them a little bit softer. Some places where you go and the potatoes are a little hard. These are nice and soft. These are actually called jumbo size. I think they call them potatoes. All right, we're gonna finish this up here real quick and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. All right, we're doing our last potato here. You can see all the steam coming out of these potatoes. So they are hot, are hot, so please be careful. If you want, you can let them cool down all the way to the room temperature. We're hungry, so we're kind of in a hurry. We're gonna take a fork. I'm just gonna lightly fluff these up. We wanna just give them just a little bit of a mash, but we don't wanna make it overly heavy. And you can leave a few of them that's kind of a little bit larger if you want. We're making a twice baked potato. It seems like no, no one ever ate the skins. They always just wonder what was in the center. And this casserole is a perfect way of getting rid of that part that you never want to eat. All right, now to this, we're going to add our herb mixture. We're going to add our onions that we diced, our parsley, and our dill. We're also going to add one teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of black pepper. I'm doing it free-handed style, which is really dangerous with me sometimes. Especially with this garlic. I made mashed potatoes once and all you tasted was garlic. And I was like, oh my gosh. But my niece, she loved them. She asked me when I could make them again and we couldn't eat them because it was so strong. All right, all we did, we just did it very loosely. We added that in. Now we're going to add two cups of a shredded cheddar cheese. I think these are the most favorite part. So now, I'm making a huge mess. I'm going to have to get t-shirts made up that says messy cook. But it is the truth. And then we add one and a half cups of sour cream. You want to make sure that you use the regular sour cream. Don't use the light. That's the first cup. Second cup. I'm just going to take our fork again. And again, we're just very lightly. 
Don't press down hard on this. We just want to mix it evenly, but we don't want to kind of mash anything. You kind of want the air. Kind of want it loose. Kind of like, I guess, whenever you're making pancakes or... Or meatballs. I think it's meatballs that whenever you uh, make a meatballs, you don't want to pack that meat firm. It's the same thing with this. You don't want to pack it where it's nice, where it's really firm. All right, see how we barely mix that? And it's already done. It's very simple. All right, we're now going to take our baking dish. And we're just going to place this into our pan. The smell is really nice. It smells delicious. Take my spoon I had earlier. Making sure I get every single little bit out. There's no use to waste it. We're going to take this and we're going to even, again, I'm not pressing down hard on this, but we're just going to even this out because what we want to do is make sure that it bakes evenly all the way across and one side doesn't get browner than the other. All right, that looks good. Try not to have a lot of little peaks. All right, we're going to set this in the oven at the 425. And we're going to bake it for roughly 20 to 25 minutes. All right. Been roughly 20, 25 minutes. There we have it. The best part of a twice baked potato is all of its insides. Give this vegetarian version a try. We have an herbed baked, twice baked potato bake.